But let's just take a look at what this uh, defense essentially has done yesterday. They put on a hell of a game, you guys. Holy smokes, from the get-go. They have six sacks, nine QBs hurries, two takeaways. There could have been more. There were some that just didn't happen. And it started right off the jump, which was great. Obviously, first play of the game for the Broncos, interception. Russell Wilson, interception. That one stung, and you're like, oh, boy, here we go again. Who it was on? Was it on Russ or was it on Mims? I don't know. I think you could easily have the discussion going both ways. But one way or another, the defense comes down. They get back on the field, and they're like, all right, we're going to stop them. What do they do? Literally have a turnover on downs. Now, Brandon Staley did get a little cocky, I won't lie, going for it on fourth down. But essentially, Chargers walk away with no points. The defense hold them. Holy smokes, I love that we're starting off so hot. Then you have your third sack by the defense with still 11 minutes to go in the second quarter. Three sacks, and there's still 11 minutes to go in the first half. Absolutely crazy. Four sacks in the first half. They came in with a game plan, and that was to absolutely hurry Justin Herbert. And that's exactly what they did. Now, of course, you never like to see injuries in the NFL, but it is a part of the game. Justin Herbert obviously leads the game um, with a broken finger, a fractured finger. I don't know how long that injury is going to last. And we're actually going to talk to Andrew Mason about that. Like, could we not see Justin Herbert at all for the rest of the season? It kind of seems silly to me. Feels like the Chargers playoff hopes are gone. So why put your quarterback out there? Just allow him essentially to heal and to look ahead to next season. I don't see any reason to, but I also don't 100% agree with a lot of the things that we've seen out of Brandon Staley and the Chargers. So again, don't know what's going to happen there. But going back to the defense, again, there's eight minutes left in the third quarter and they get a huge fourth down stop against the Chargers. Massive, you guys. There was like a little bit of momentum for the Chargers. Huge fourth down stop. They went 0-3 on fourth downs, I think, yesterday, which is just crazy. And then Josie Jewell in the fourth. He absolutely goes after the quarterback. Huge sack. And then, of course, I have this question because he does his like little gun fingers. He's like, pew, pew, pew. I'm like, are you going to get fined for that again? Didn't you learn? I think it was like a $10,000 fine or something crazy like that that he got fined for last time he did it. But at that point, you don't care. 